All right, so we got Dead Island 2, 17 Things I Wish I Knew, bars. Let's go to the video. Dead Island 2 is a game where, as our reviewer Mark Delaney... Oh, she bulky. Every she bulky. ...in the game exists, like the world's grossest onion, with each layer able to be peeled <laughs> by a katana, mallet, or anything okay. else you'll look all right, at, I'm which I'd love to show you, and can, after about 30 okay, seconds, right, 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 so YouTube right. doesn't... <laughs> Video. It's also a game with some deeper <laughs> elements. Okay. You, you could do. So let's get into it. <laughs> I crack myself up, man. If you're planning on playing Dead Islands 2 with a friend, and many of the encounters do feel balanced for co op, know that you can only join the game of someone either very close to or behind where you are in the story. If you get way ahead, oh. you can expect to be taken back to earlier in the story to play with others. The higher level player will have their damage output lowered so as not to be OP. Okay, that actually makes sense. Dead that makes Island sense. 2 has your classic loot system with greens, blues, purples, and at the very end, oranges. As okay. a matter of fact, the game throws the bulk of its named and unique weapons and weapon mods at you in the latter part of the game. So use whatever you want, have fun, and then worry about crafting more toward the end. And yes, okay. the game places you back in the world with more to do. Bro, that hammer is OP. You won't miss out. Hey! Every zombie movie ever drills into its audience to go for the head. And while that has its place in some situations here, it's far better to go for the legs. Really? That's because the game spawns zombies around. I mean, the yeah, to like cut like cut the leg off and stuff like that, but, but like push on you in waves. Most do not go down instantly with headshots, but going for the legs will put them on the ground where they are far easier to manage. I guess it depends on how you play. I I'll be real. It depends on how you play. Array of things in the environment. I like that. I like that. I like how you use the environment. I like that. Acid and water. Before you start a fight, have a quick look at what's. I'm on fire. Up in here, it's burning hot. I'm on fire. Across the entire surface, pouring gasoline under a locked gate will let you barbecue zombies. I'm on fire. Up in here, it's burning hot. I'm on fire. You can even use zombies to harm others. A crusher's AOE attack can damage lesser enemies and. Oh my God, bro! Look how big he is. And kill others nearby. Keep in mind, I'm on fire. Zombies are up in here. He's burning hot. I'm on fire. Fire attacks and so on. Just slicing and dicing this man up. Oh my god. The game's throwable items you can find through blueprints or buy from vendors. Always, always check vendor inventories. They can be used in really fun ways, like hitting a zombie with a sticky bomb and then drop kicking them into their besties. That was nice. That was nice. It can be done with meat bait. Also good for just gathering zombies in one spot, allowing you to run on. Oh! The men have the haymaker ready for you. Stars are especially effective finishers in a fight. Chem bombs can put out zombies on fire, making them slightly Mom less dangerous. Yeah. If things are going really sideways, grab your trusty bomb and get onto the roof of a vehicle. This is like Zombie 101. Just watch out as runners can climb onto. Oh, the I didn't even see that. Early in the game, you have the option to equip block duck, or duck, dodge. dive. Absolutely recommend dodge. Even okay. two or three zombies can be fatal if you're not careful. Get used to dodging and isolating enemies. Stay on the outside. Oh my god, weave. You'll find plenty of resting zombies around the map, and they promise not to bother you if you don't bother them. There okay. are a few puzzles in the game. I feel like in real life, that would be the case. And since guns don't show if zombies were real, I feel like if you just don't bother them and get close to them, they won't, they really won't care about you. The game's crafting bench is very if zombies were like, were real, hopefully, they, they stay fictional. Weapons up to your level. The repair and bringing weapons to your level parts cost cash. The amount is displayed here. You get cash by selling weapons to vendors or collecting it in the environment. Modding weapons takes crafting resources also found in the environment or gained from breaking down weapons. Dang, Later man. On, weapons start to have permanent. So you really gotta perks. go and like so find your stuff. Multiple of the same weapon. Check out their locked perks before breaking them down or selling them. Later oh, okay, in cool. The game, weapon mod blueprints. Recipe items. More and more specific 
select ingredients that come from specific Bro said zombies. ingredients. I love the word ingredients. You actually avoid regular zombies who will only degrade your weapons. The Makes sense. Show you where some of these are likely to show up, but a few that gave us trouble are to get insect larvae from the swarm walkers. Flammable liquid from Inferno. Boy, oh my god. I feel like guns in this game would just be OP, bro. Screamers. Ingredients is all critical <laughs> from this menu at the workbench. You can also check the Zompedia in the pause menu and find the crafting parts dropped. By oh my Amazon god, game. If that's a big boy! Thing, oh my to lord, buy fuses from traders every chance you get. They are a bit spendy in the early game. Oh lord, fifteen hundred dollars each, but they open locked caches that contain a ton of loot, and it doesn't take too long before fifteen hundred dollars. Well, what type of place am I looking at? Just because something tells you it needs a fuse or key doesn't always mean it does. In some cases, you can just break a window or find a climbing route to get in anyway. Mm, if you really I like can't that. find a way in, I don't like that. Waste more time. Some I like that. Are walled off There's different ways to get into like Lock different places. I like that. Stuff such as rooms are meant to be revisited later they're guarded by over leveled enemies that can often one shot you another reason you might not be able to find your way into rooms is that a lot of locked areas need a specific key Ooh. you can typically Boy, find he that key the <laughs> oh my enemy. god aim at different zombies to find the one you need Oh, hello, lifeguard Brody. Brody the lifeguard. Zombies are tied to story missions, so again, if it's Brody too the long, lifeguard built like uh, Mario later. Lopez. While you might be from Saved by the Bell, open every door in the game because a lot of them do honestly lead to alternate routes or interesting items. Just be aware that you can never close. But those, those look, look they deadly. Are opened, zombies can walk oh, through weave. the rest of the game. <laughs> The game has a few quality of life mechanics that are surprisingly easy to miss. Fast around, travel? Oh, fast snap. Travel. You need to go find these maps on the walls of most safe houses in order to fast travel. The game also has a lost loot system like your Borderlands and Destinies. Your storage locker has a tab, which I only discovered at the end of the game. And oh, look, my first orange weapon. Great. Emma's wrath. Safe houses and areas on the map respawn their loot constantly. Oh well, snap! Okay, that's cracked though. Gather more resources. That's cracked though. Like In that's some cracked. Cases, vendors will appear after story beats who sell new blueprints. That's kind of cracked though. That's People cheese though. Because imagine I like I run out of loot. There's I just go back to like the like the respawn or whatever. And Honestly, but I guess it's helpful for everybody and mods drop late in the game So we want to know in the comments below. What's the best weapon or build you've tried? Thanks okay. No, all right All right Shout out the game spot for the video the best weapon that I've ever I'll probably have to say Okay, I don't know if he showed it in here, but it's this it's this sword bro It's this sword and it has like electric. It's like an electric like sword. That's the best weapon to me in the game That's the best weapon to me uh, I probably said the second one is uh, we literally just seen it where the person had like those big claws and just like grabbed the runner and just like punched like a big hole like through like through his head whatever. That's the second one, and then like the third one I probably say is like any of the guns. Other than that, comment down below what you guys think of Dead Island Two. Uh, Seventeen things I wish I knew. Bars. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and.